This is Twit. Wow. Gosh, wow. the bromance is over. Yeah. Musk, Musk and Trump have experienced a rapid, <laughs> unscheduled disenfriendship. <laughs> Dis- um, disenfriendship? <laughs> so, so uh, where does one begin, you know? Who the, could have predicted it? Oh, right? yeah. Except who, for almost everybody. Who saw this coming? Right. So amongst Except all the everyone. other <laughs> trauma of the last few weeks, Trump and Musk have a, a break in their bromance, yeah. which it, results in Trump saying, and I may, uh, correct me if I get the order wrong, hey, if we really want to save money, we just cancel all the expensive contracts with Elon Musk and his dumb companies. I don't know why Biden didn't do it, because everything is Biden's fault, with Musk saying, fine. I will decommission Dragon, and parenthetically, although he didn't say it, you can walk to your damn space station. <laughs> um, and then, it, then, throw a little more dirt onto it, Musk said, hey, wonder why you're not seeing the Jeffrey Epstein files? It's because Trump sent him. Yeah. Like, oh, what oh, are you doing? It, just, it was a turn, man. And after that, actually, Trump kind of took the high road, which surprise me well so it actually started early so this by the way we're recording this on a friday and all of this happened like within the space of like four hours yeah. like yesterday like on thursday it was it was like i was sitting there watching japan land on the moon which we're going to talk about in a bit and meanwhile land, like, yeah. <laughs> and meanwhile like this whole uh, like the, the the richest man in the world, and I, I guess you could say the most powerful man in the world, uh, the mm-hmm. president, uh, are going at it on their different social media things. And it started actually in a press conference with German Chancellor uh, Rod, mm-hmm. where there were questions, and uh, and Trump said that he was very disappointed in Elon Musk because Elon Musk had seen his big beautiful budget bill, which of course Musk has been criticizing all week long uh, since he left government on saturday saturday it was like <laughs> less than a week man and um and uh uh and elon said it was false like r- called him out right away and 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 told you know said that trump was ungrateful because it was him that got it was musk that got trump elected and then that's where it all just kind of devolved in spectacular form <laughs> uh uh in front of like the entire like twitter verse and and like internet world well, so and honest to god i mean it's not intended to be a politically charged statement but it was a bit like watching a couple of toddlers throw oatmeal at each other you know it's like nah nah you're a sticky pants no you're a sticky pants two times over a lot a lot of people thought it was great like a lot of people were like look at how fantastic this is look they're finally fighting like we all were hoping well, yeah but i mean it's still not good for the republic oh my gosh it's just like this is this is the face we've chosen to show to the world uh, about, yeah. about how we work, but it, but it raises a lot of questions because I was just talking about it with the space.com team today, and where we ended up last Boy, night. Boy, that must have been an interesting pre-press conference you guys had. Oh my gosh! Well, well, so so consider the purpose of the commercial crew program that led SpaceX to develop Dragon for NASA's crew crew transfer. It was NASA in the wake of the Columbia accident, realizing that they had only one assured way to get to space, that was the Russian Soyuz, and even then that wasn't very assured. Uh, And so they would like to have their own uh, US access, independent access to space, not just one, but two vehicles. So that's where Boeing came in. And and that's why we we would never be dependent on anyone again for anything, because we would have our own way to go and cut forward five years, which is, you know, we actually just hit the five-year anniversary of SpaceX's first crewed flight with Dragon, the Demo-2 flight. And SpaceX is right now NASA's uh, uh, only U.S. independent access to space because Boeing, you know, is uh, off off back trying to recover from uh, from the, the Starliner flight and get ready for, I guess, the next one, which is sometime next year. And, and we're in the same place where he could take his toys and go home. And then what do we have, right? So we don't have an Orion that we can launch whenever. So right. it's, it was a very big uh, illustrative issue that we're kind of back in the same issue where we were way before. So, Well, and, and my two favorites from today, Trump, I'm not even thinking about Elon Musk, and then uh, putting up for sale the red Tesla he bought. That's right. In March, he just bought that car. So yeah, you think it has a, uh, you think it has a bumper sticker on it? 
that says i bought i bought this tesla I bought this before <laughs> elon went crazy what does elon do with the key to the white house that that trump gave him last week i don't i don't know drop, drop it from orbit perhaps <laughs> no actually i think you should weld it to the side if it's metal you should weld it to the side of starship and use it for a re-entry test yeah, all right um yeah so wild stuff. i don't think the story's over everyone keep an eye on it because everyone's mad about that bill that, that the budget bill which we're going to talk about in a bit too i think so mm. Hey, if you enjoyed this clip, be sure to check out This Week in Space. You can find us on your favorite podcast app or see the link in the description below. See you there.